I miss the sea. Oh, whoa, that's creepy. And I miss waking up every morning. Wondering what wonderful adventure the new day will bring to us. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps. Perhaps not. But wasn't that guy from the first movie? Next I don't summer. believe in magic. But a few times in my life. Oh, when he was younger. Times, things I can't explain. I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe. What the it's heck? How hard you believe it. And the dial of destiny. I'm her godfather. Get back. Welcome back to my channel. So, yeah, Disney finally released the official trailer, official trailer, teaser trailer for Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny. To be honest, okay, I'm gonna be real. I don't know if I should be excited for this movie, only because I feel like, I, I just feel like they're milking this out, the franchise, like, the first Indiana Jones will always be the best. It's the OG. That one is a classic, you know? That one's the best. The other two that came out later in the 80s, those are pretty good also. Not as good as the first one, but they're still good. Then the fourth one came out in, what year was it? 2008 or so? The Kingdoms of Crystal Skull had Shia LaBeouf who played the sun. It was kind of like, uh, okay, like, no, like, just no. And then this one... I mean, the trailer looks good. Don't get me wrong. The action looks good. But I just feel like... It, I feel like... It, it's, a, it's a franchise that I feel like already had its ending with the third one back in the 80s. Let this franchise just be... To, let's just leave it to rest. And I think also considering the fact when you... I mean, I look at Harrison Ford and, you know, the actor has to be in his 80s, right? If I'm not mistaken. And... I mean, a part of me wants to say, like, oh, yeah, he's still got it. I mean, I heard that it's been confirmed he's going to play uh, Thunderbolt Ross in the upcoming Captain America 4 movie, the New, the New World Order. So, okay, cool. But it's just, I, I find it, like, I know there's a stunt double involved. I know they have a, you know, a stunt double doing all the action scenes. But I think it's just, for me, it's just, like, seeing this this <laughs> this character who's now older you know still hopping around and shooting around it, it, i i think that's what it is it's just it's hard for me i yes it's a fictional movie it, it doesn't happen it's fiction it's not real but it's just hard for me to find it like i guess i don't want to say believable in but in terms of that like oh like i could totally see this character doing all of this i mean when Again, when he was in his younger years, yes, but now I don't know. I, I don't know if I should feel excited for this movie or not. Maybe, like I said, maybe because I feel like they're just milking it out. Like, really, Indiana Jones 5? I feel like the ending already happened in the third movie back in the 80s where they had Sean Connery play his father. You know, just leave it at that. It, those three movies were fine. Leave it as is. It was a classic and that's it. Am I going to see this movie? Yeah, probably. I probably am. I mean, you know, again, at the end of the day, it's Indiana Jones, very popular classic character from Hollywood. He has his own ride at Disneyland. Uh, Harrison Ford, you know, made Indiana Jones the, the pop, as popular that he is. So am I going to watch it? Of course. Um, but yeah, that's all I basically have to say about this movie. Um, we got a new character. Of course, they can't bring Shia LaBeouf back, um, you know, to play his son because Shia LaBeouf is going through his own issues. But they have uh, a new actress who's playing his goddaughter. 
I believe. So that will be interesting to see. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's just see how this movie turns out. Again, the action looks great. It's just part of me kind of wishes like, oh, like how how much more can they do with this character, you know? But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And then plus Harrison Ford, he'll he'll still be acting till the day he till the day he dies, basically. He's gonna like I say, he's gonna play Thunderbolt Ross. Uh, since the actor William Hurt passed away, who played the character originally, uh, Harrison Ford's replacing him. So let's see how that goes. He'll be in the new Captain America movie. But anyway, guys, let me know that down in the comments below what you guys thought about it. Are you guys actually looking forward to it? Are you excited for it? Yeah, just let me know. Is there any little tidbits I should know about this? So yeah, just let me know. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, take care, guys. Bye.